So now that we have completely defined the physics in our model, the next step in our workflow would be to create the mesh. And we also have several options for doing this as well. We can always use the default physics controlled mesh and this automatically generates a mesh adapted to the physics settings within the model. A wave optics mesh would differ from a solid mechanics mesh, which would also differ from a fluid flow mesh. And changing the physics settings or the physics within your model will result in a new mesh adapted to those settings. Another option is always a user controlled mesh where we would have manual control over our mesh size and could even create a mesh of different element types. Comsol Multiphysics has different 3D and 2D element types available, such as triangles, tetrahedrons, hexahedrons, quadrilaterals, pyramids, and prisms. And this can be a real lifesaver when you need it, like if you are modeling different physics in different parts of your geometry. Other automatic mesh generators available are the free tetrahedral mesh, swept mesh, different types of boundary meshes, as well as boundary layer meshes. For this example, we will use a free tetrahedral mesh and we're going to change the size of the elements themselves. And you'll see here Comsol has nine built in element size parameter sets from extremely fine to extremely coarse. We are going to choose a finer mesh size setting and then clicking build all will generate our mesh. So here we have it, our finer free tetrahedral mesh. So let's zoom in, take a good look, especially around some of the curved edges 